and welcome to this video. This is Edison from the channel M Grind, and I'm here to show you top 10 plugins of all plugins I'm using. And I hope this helps you with your mixes. I'm actually excusing and saying I'm sorry that there is might be some hisses and pops and cracks and something like that with my audio interface while I'm pushing the push the talk button and the reason is because I have this M audio fast track pro um, interface what I'm using and it's getting rather old and these drivers is not very s are not very suitable with Windows 10 so anyways let's get away with this amazing example what I've put together to you um, I start by playbacking you this mix down what what I created in a half an hour just for demonstration purpose. Let's go. I to the world to give my hand for everybody. I bring to the table the best and the best I can do. As you can hear, it's pretty pop sounding. Pretty much this 130 tempo pop sounding uh, little small fun thing I put together for you guys. This was list for top 10 best plugins. Some of them free, most of them free, and but some tools which cost you something. But let's get started. First of all is TDR Nova plugin. It's 10th ten place. I mean these are like random order but but uh, 10 on my tent on my list uh, TDR Nova you can use it with hi-hat you can use it with the mastering if you want but I'm using here it on the hi-hat to this dynamic compressor and there is four areas what you can do and also equalization tool included you can equalize here if you want but what I'm using is this Ford Ford channel I would say and put it Press, press this threshold and add some kind of compression to the top end and this is for the hi-hats so I want little compression there uh, I want you to hear it with and without let's go now it's with Without and with adding some little bit of that compression to the top end, it's great there. And also the secondary where it really shows its amazing usage is on the si singing channel, and. Here I'm using it only for the singing, not the singing submix where I'm using the spacey stuff. Singing. Um, let's see what I'm doing. Uh, this, this on this mix it was only needed on this third channel. Put threshold, and for the S's, pretty much for the S's, and on in the end, last two bars, last sentences, I use some S words. Let's see what it's doing with the vocals there. Let's see. Best on the best I can do. 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 It really reduces the S's. I was pressing the wrong button. I'm sorry with that. <laughs> that funny thing what happened. Okay, that's for the DDR Nova. You can also use it as say, an equalization, but I'm not using here it for it. I'm using Fruity's own Ego 2 for the vocal. This is the what it's looking like. Little boost on the high end and yeah, that's for the another video. Um. And then you can also 
take some compression. If you are using heavy guitars, you can compress this middle part a little bit. And it really helps. It really helps with guitars. If you put it on the guitars, it helps the vocal to sit a little better on the mix. But you can also use it on a different way, like compress this um, middle from the vocal. It depends on what you want for the mix. Always think the mix first and what it's sounding and what you are wanting it to sound like. Okay, that's for the Dear Nomad. That was on the 10th place. A ninth on my list is this saturation tool, this, which also is free as the Tidier Nova, is this Ferric Tedious. I'm using it on the violin. Violin to get it a little bit more effect. Let's hear it. Okay, Ferric Tedious. Let's hear it without first. I'm sorry with this. Okay, let's go. It's giving it this small distortion and what I'm what I'm doing with it is using these presets. Um, I'm using these presets only because I don't want to give myself too many options and you can actually just use some kind of preset and tweak around it and when you get some sound you like you can use it you know presets are a good way to start let's say okay cool that's with the ferric tedious it's such a racing tool it has amazing presets i like them it gives those track tracks a little bit more alive and it's all free so you can go and download it i'm gonna put these links down below so you can download it and i hope this video really helps you with your mixes okay eight on my list okay this is like this multiband compressor g multi and i'm using it mostly on the bass and this time i added another bass track on the last part because i wanted to show you one another plugin and this really wasn't needed necessary but what i'm doing here with the g multi i can actually go and listen to the bass and I can mute bands, high end, middle, and then go to low end. No, don't want any width because this bass I want it to be in the middle, you know. Threshold, what what you want to, want it to do, like here, okay. Minus 28 dB, and put some compression, four to one ratio. I can level it if I, if I want to boost the lowest end, but I want to quick uh, kick ham has some space there, you know. Kick has some room there to work, you know, on the low end. I okay. Uh, I saw this equalization too. It's boosting here on the hundred, something like hundred hertz. Flat here, high end out, lowest end high out, and then the bass drum. There is a plan always, always a plan. It's boosting down there below the bus. I mean, bass, you know. Okay, cool. I, I was using this sub bass just to get some more for the. It's not necessary actually in this uh, example. But anyway, there is no G multi. Uh, the reason what I'm doing here. Okay, let's see. This low wind can get more you know um distorted or uh, wavy blah, you know if there is no compression but if i put compression there it gets very natural i mean very how would i say it soft sounding clean sounding amazing sounding good sounding and this is very good tool to help that and that is actually only usage i'm using it you can use it also in mastering stage if you really want to play around it with it i've not used it to that purpose i have my own tools which are coming shortly and okay the next saturation tool on the yeah seventh place is le petit excite 
and the Petit Texite is amazing, again, amazing tool for saturation. And here on the harp, I'm using it to distort the low end and the bottom end. Let's hear it. With and without, okay. Without. It's really emphasizing that high cling. This has pretty, pretty a lot of this high-end saturation because I like it. I like it. It, it may, makes it sound really interesting. And no, using the noise floor, okay. That's with that. It's the best usage for it, I think, is for the singing to stand out really. And I'm using it here, la petite excite. And actually, I'm using it. Wait, a, wait a bit. I'm using Ferric TDS actually also on the um, singing spatial effect. So it brings out more of those spatial effects which are panned. I saw this fruity delay. Okay, this band right. This this is this has some stereo feel to it. Side here, side. Okay. And after that I'm using Ferric TDS. Okay, cool. And La Petite Excite for the singing. Just small adjustments. Just small. Small distortion for the high end. Let's hear the singing with and without. I owe to the world to give my health for everybody. I bring to the table the best and the best I can do. And this is the amazing way to... Get it sound like really, really crispy, or the high end to distort, so it pushes out from the mix more and emphasizes those great things you do with your vocal. This this is the tool to make it really professional. I have to say, but you have to really use it lightly. Light use it on the vocal. Depends, of course, how you're doing the equalization and compression but this is very very hard compression this is pop compression style 5 to 1 ratio that's a really high some very big dress pretty big threshold you know good a lot gain to get the dynamics range to do its work you know how you want it to do it how it hears how you hear it that's the most important part Next on the list, now we're going to the list of three plugins, which is gonna cost you something, so bear with me. And, I don't know, this is just random order, so first gonna go with the Ozone 8 elements. This plugin is amazing for the mastering stage. What I'm doing with the master is actually Cutting here with the equalization to very top end and high uh, low end. I, I think that was necessary for it to sound a little bit better and cleaner. It's not always necessary and Ozone have included its own... I will show it. I just bought it yesterday so I'm not professional with this. Uh, okay, here is uh, already this cut. Not needed here and high-end boost for the vocal and little bit here middle down you know I've boosted it up I'm using some preset it's like something pop or something <laughs> and it sounds pretty pretty great to me pretty commercial almost this was 30 minute thing not, not so commercial <laughs> but you know you know just for the example and here's some settings you can use this. There is this masses, master assistant, with which you can use I'll also help you. It automatically sets the settings, and then you can use some presets to to uh, emphasize something you like or find play around with it, find something great. Uh, well, let's not hear hear it with and without. Start with without. I 
important part is is, uh, is getting just louder. You can use multipan compressor to do this also, but this auto eight elements maybe shortcuts things. And for this investment, I will say the price. Wait a bit. Price is twenty nine dollars. It was hundred, but now it's it's coming down. You know. Next plugin is Antares Autotune. Costs you forty nine dollars. And this vocal is actually done with Autotune eight point one. There is only small things you gotta do. I'm using it on the recording bus. I'm using first track always. This is my style, you know. First track always for the recording, and then put them on the track I want them. Example: This vocal is on this 13. Uh, background vocal also on the 14. Anyway, you just press low latency and sing through it to get the right kind of sound. I'm using D minor because this song is from D minor. You have to always determine which key are you playing sing to sing on the right key you know <laughs> some keys might sound good together but this is the way how you know how not to go wrong okay uh this is for the backing track these settings pretty much these two only are you have to uh, count here the fast is just for the very much vibrato you know kind of sound and Classic, it's that classic out of tuna kind of sound, and you can play around with this and sing through to find right kind of settings. These two are actually only needed mostly. You can transpose it to get one octave up or down, <laughs> sound like Mickey Mouse or some kind of monster, you know. Well, that's out of the way. That's uh, amazing out of tune plugin, the best one I, I think I know. You can also choose what kind of singer you are i think this alto tenor thing would have been better for me but i was using soprano mode but whatever just for example goes just for the for an example okay i go with this next one it's gonna go cost you actually also 39 dollars sounds like a fattener it's a again this is coming I mean, a, a theme here it's such a race some plugin. I'm using it on the melody. Melody part. And this is really heavy saturation. Like like this super I mean <laughs> like very super heavy saturation. And seven percent it it's almost too much already. And color it pretty much determines what um these hertz ranges are you using. And I'm boosting like a little bit more of that middle high-ish thing. Let's hear it with the melody. Maybe, maybe a hair too much, but you know, it's fast example. Um, this is, this can be a, a good tool also on the master bus to get something boosted, but uh, use it with caution. Really, really, this is too much actually. I have to say, I could tweak it a little bit here. Wait a bit. Cool, great, that's it, that's something I really prefer to buy, it's really great, it's very heavy, heavy saturation tool, there is some free ones too you can play around with, I might maybe do some kind of list of free saturation plugins, this is like the theme of this day, this saturation, you can use it almost every track, like every track actually, to make them sound, sound a little better some distortion there maybe maybe something is needed to keep clean you know but this this really makes something to stand out helps you to maybe get that guitar solo or something to stand out maybe that vocal needs some punch more this is the way to create that feel 
afterwards. This is always after the equalization. Equalization is good now. Okay, let's go with the saturation. Okay, next one is transient. And the transient is great plugin. It's free. Transient. I'm not sure which has made it. But I put the link below so you find it. Let's see what I'm doing with the transient. I'm using it on the snare. And why? Let's hear. It gives it a little bit more punch. This compressor already gives it that punch a little bit. Really, this is took down. You know? Attack. Attack is pretty standard. Um, equalization gives some punch to high end. Maybe this is a little like too fast. Fast done. Anyway, transient. To get the energy more of that energy out because the sustain is down attack is higher sustain is more down the energy is on the you know frame on a smaller frame so the ener there comes more energy on one spot okay that's more snappy with that okay but you can use it like bass if you if you hear something like it's or just the sank. There's pace pro pace problems here. But when it when it sound, sounds more hard, maybe two two tracks of bass. You know, they're pace problems. You ha have to face it on the right face. This helps with it. You can play around with it to find the right settings. There is many ways to gr make re great bass, and that's for the another video. I really dedicate one video for that. Also, that's very important issue with many of many of uh mix makers anyway home mixers next one is this master i mean um uh, monitoring tool and it's second on my list it's this span i'm using it pretty much only on a master bus you can route it to get many more instruments to compare them I might do a video to show how that's done if someone is interested. But the span plugin is great the way to monitor everything and maybe compare it to um, some commercial mix you really like and what uh, parts are standing out. Uh, it's after the master. We can actually monitor it with and without the master. Let's see. The world to keep my hand for everybody I bring to the table the best of the best I can do I owe to the world to keep Point is pretty much this, this that Ozone really takes a real Really nice work with getting out some of that bad dynamic range, and if we see it with without ozone. I owe the world to give my hand for everybody. I bring to the this is getting really furry, really furry, really furry. Now. The world to keep my hand for everybody. I bring to the table. Actually, if we look that and really monitor it, it actually keeps a lot of that amazing, good dynamic range which we are wanting. Wanting there because that's something what gives the music. Depth. That's the right word. Pretty much concludes it. Okay, the last one. I'm gonna do uh, another video for the span to go deeper with it. But just for the tip that's there. Okay, the last one is Tal Reverb. I'm using it on the snare here. You can 
do really nice spatial effects with everything or anything you like with it. And it's all free. Okay, I'm using it only, only on a snare. Pretty much Apple Studio own reverb is really great for everything if, if I don't want any fancy stuff. But here I just wanted to show it so you can get some variety. Maybe not want to use always the DAS included ones. Uh, just try something different. And this is one great way to... I just tweaked this to my hearing something. Some this. Really nice spatial effect there. Only like this really, really li low this wet, wet number. But yeah, that's for the, my list. That was top ten plugins. Download links will be on the below of the video, and you can download them. Thanks for watching. Peace out. I hope that this is really much help at you. Amazing, great, uh, awesome. Bye bye.